Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And today's episode idea, we got a little bit of an inceptioned idea here. It's I've never got seen that movie. Levels and layers to it. <laughs> I don't understand that reference. There are levels and layers. It's, it's, it's a real Shrek of an idea. It's got layers. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. It's a real onion of an idea. I don't understand that reference. <laughs> Do you know what an onion is? What? <laughs> okay, well, you just... I've never read that just hang publication. Tight. <laughs> I'm confident you'll get it as, okay. I, go, as I go into okay. it. So in the Dropy Patreon Discord, we have our user Campanella who posted this suggestion, which is to draw new Pokemon based on their original names. So like oh. reinterpreting the name, like it means something different. What so, have we been doing? So what Julia always does. <laughs> yeah, we got to get into the mind of Julia. Yeah. yeah, well, this is not a from memory. This is like, yeah. you, you. even if you know Just what like it is, you're, you're reinterpreting it. Yeah, except we're drawing Pokemon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So their from idea the came from the YouTuber <laughs> Pen Paladin who's been doing YouTube shorts with this concept. But they got their idea to do this from, as far as I can tell, it originated with an artist astray. That's an underscore artist underscore astray. They're the first ones I found who started this trend. So I, I think that's where it began as far as I can tell. But people have been going around doing this online. It's a real fun trend. So we're going to do it too. Yeah. So we're going to go around and randomly pull up a Pokemon and then and then using their original name, we're going to design a whole new Pokemon around it. All right. Nathan oh. is up first. Nathan. Yes. Your Pokemon is uh -huh. Guzzlord. Oh, oh good. <laughs> That's a good name. Good did, Guzzlord. Did you really randomly pull up Guzzlord? I did. I randomly generated three, <laughs> and I picked the one I liked the most of the three. Which was, of course, Guzzlord. Which was, it's of course, weird. Guzzlord. All three of them were Guzzlord, actually. Guzzlord. Yeah. yeah. I, the probability on that seems wild to me, but miracles happen uh, once in a while. Guzzlord. When That's you believe. The, the beautiful part of living in this, this wonderful world. Honk. <laughs> Honk if you love Beautiful Guzz Lord. Lord. Honk if you Guzz Lord. Guzz. Oh, Lord, I'm guzzing. <laughs> Guzz. <laughs> I'm guzzing again. Lord, I'm help me. I'm guzzing again. <laughs> I'm guzzing back to the old me. <laughs> Nathan's in his repeating the name phase. Vroom, vroom, baby. The cars are out today. <laughs> they heard us say Guzzlord and they are coming They're over. They're coming. Isn't Guzz the coming. name of the mouse in Cinderella? That's yeah. Guzz. Yeah, if you say it wrong, it, it Guzz, is. Guzz, if you say it, Guzz, if you say it wrong and say it once, <laughs> yeah, it's the name of the mouse from Cinderella. Is it Guzz Guzz Movie Guzz? The horse? You're thinking of Guzz Guzz Movie Horse. Yeah. Not this Guzz is, Guzz Movie Guzz. This is Guzz Guzz Movie Guzz, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> It could just be draw a Lord of Guz. Come yeah, on, just yeah. draw a Lord of Guz. The Lord of Guz. I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what I'm waiting a for. Gu okay, let's yeah. let's talk about what a Guz could be. Okay, a gooey yeah. fuzz, a gummy fuzz. A fuzzy, I like that. I like both of those. Um, fuzzy gummy. What, what what's a gizzard? That's uh, a giblet. It's like part of the. <laughs> it's like part of the throat. <laughs> Sorry. Nathan sounded so irritated. <laughs> What's a gizzard? Um, that's a giblet. That's a, that's a giblet. You dumbass. idiot. <laughs> you idiot. It's like a little throat tangle. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it could be that. Giblet's the evolved form of diglet. <laughs> I thought that was that studio. Studio, studio giblet. giblet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so guzz mm -hmm. it could be any of those things um when i think of guzz i guzz. think of like so imagine that you're like 13 uh-huh right in the 90s <laughs> uh-huh and you're at a friend's house and their older brother is like 17 mm -hmm. and he's like in always the 90s? in the 90s okay. and he's always like down in the basement like the the scuzzy guzzy basement and he's got like the chips and the sodas and he's always like watching like a movie that's like slightly too mature for you. But every time you're down there, you're like feeling cool. 
because you're hanging out with a 17 year old. I relate to this story. I grew up in Houston. There are no basements? No basements. No basements in Houston. But you could imagine a basement. I could just imagine being underground or like drowning. Imagine a cool teen that's <laughs> underground, but then when you're an adult, you look back and you were like, that teen actually wasn't that cool. Oh. <laughs> that so teen was actually maybe, you know, a little bit of an unsuccessful teen. But... Kamina from Gurren Lagann. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool teen who's underground. Yeah. Name one cooler team who's more underground. <laughs> I can't. I I have another thing that Guz could be. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's it's like you know how the ninety hey you know hey in hey. the in the hey you hey. remember in the nineties the obsession with guts like Nickelodeon guts Nickelodeon guts yeah and then they were all like you gotta have guts do 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 you have it yeah guts uh, I it's would hope to, everyone do, has do, guts do, do, in do, some do, form do, do you have it um but it could be so. Guz could be guts spelled in like a edgy way without, but if you take out the T. And the new, the new <laughs> tagline is "Do you has it?" Guz. Also with the Z has also with, yeah, the Z. Yeah. with a Z. Can I has it? Can I has Guz? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. What, what do you call it when you like mush the words together? Portmanteau. Portmanteau. Yeah. Gay cousin. Gay cousin. Guz. My guz. <laughs> oh, hey, comment guz. down below if you're the guz. Hey, guz. I know there's a lot of you out there. Guzins unite. Wow. My, my guz lords in the, in the chat. The chat <laughs> being the comments. Yeah. It's just sort of like a slow chat. The comments. <laughs> yeah. Right on your it's own a time. slow chat just way in the future. Yeah. <laughs> I notice you're not drawing like a basement gross teen i mean i think this is sort of like a frog version of that okay it could be a frog version of that or a gay cousin you can be a gay cousin who hangs out in a cool basement and looks mark. like a frog yeah yeah a gay cousin can look like anything yeah yeah we're not here to tell you to prescribe how you should be if you're a gay cousin yeah if you're a gay cousin that's enough just be your own guz <laughs> That's what this frog wants to teach you. Yeah. When you say it like that, it does kind of sound like a. How do the kids say? Riz? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, in what sense? <laughs> Who's rizzing who? I don't know. It just has the same sort of like. Oh, Guz is like yeah. Riz? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Maybe that is like Guts. He's oh, got the guts. It's the Riz version of Guts. So it's like bravery. Yeah. 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 So like you get Guzzed up and yeah. you go like do something you were scared of. I love that. <laughs> Man, I went to go uh, bungee jumping the other day. I just couldn't get the guzz up. I couldn't get my guzz up. <laughs> I got my riz up and that was how I, I secured the bungee jumping appointment. Yeah. I rizzed up the bungee jumping teacher, <laughs> but then I couldn't guzz up <laughs> to actually jump. So instead of jumping, I pee peed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I pissed. <laughs> We're inventing like the worst <laughs> video game with the worst RPG stats. Uh, the problem is we're not the youth. We're not allowed to invent no. the new terms. And so oh, when we yeah. do it, it's like so bad. Yeah. I, I feel old as ever having only recently learned the word riz and how it is meant to be used. I'm not going to say it. I feel old. I'll say it <laughs> for the people watching. I can't do it. There are people watching in their 30s and their 40s, nay, in their 50s, and they don't know, maybe. Why did you make a horse noise? Because there are 50-year-old horses watching oh. this, and I was letting them know that they're seen. Yeah, nay. <laughs> I want to say this but joke. Riz is short for charisma. That's all I wanted to say. I want to say this joke before we get too far away yes. from where it originated. Okay. Uh, because this joke is really good and yes. needs to be said. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> um, um, wonderful. So if these are RPG stats, we could come out with a Baldur's Riz, and then you have like stats in instead of like charisma and strength and stuff, you got like the Riz stat. The Piz stat, the Guz stat. Wouldn't it be Baldur's Guz? Because that's closer to gate. <laughs> what if it's Baldur's Gaz? What is Gaz? It's like gate, but with a Z. Yeah. Well, why do we need to abbreviate gate? 
like Riz and <laughs> well, char- Charisma's already a stat in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, but now it's called Riz. Yeah, but now okay. it's called Riz. <laughs> okay, but then is there yeah. a modding community for Baldur's Gate? The, yeah, there will be. Okay, so they can they can mod this in. Yeah, yeah. strength is Striz. <laughs> Charisma is Riz. Intelligence <laughs> is. is. <laughs> yes. Wisdom is Wiz, obviously. obviously. I play a Paladiz. <laughs> oh, so then this version would be called Balls Gaz. <laughs> balls Gaz. Yeah, you guys balls check gaz. out that Balls Gaz. Balls Gaz 3. Really impressive what a, what a small team can, can do. Am I right? Yeah. Good on them for not having DLC. No. Balls gas, really. Balls gas sounds like the dude you meet at the Star Wars cantina. (laughs) (laughs) He has a giblet gizzard. Balls gas and his giblet gizzard. Yeah, it has its own mouth and voice. (laughs) That's the band that goes on after that band at the... The jizz band. Yeah, the jizz band, yeah. I was going to say balls gas and the... Gibbler, giblet gizzard is the is my favorite Jesus Christ. My favorite experimental <laughs> rock jam band. There's other Jesus Christ is my this? favorite Jesus Christ. I just wanted to make a king gizzard and the lizard wizard joke, but my words can't say all those things in order. It was not meant to be said. Yeah, no. You were not meant to make that joke. No, I that... thought about it and I was like, I'm not even gonna try. That's stupid. It's I'm gonna forbidden. sound like a fool. You were right to, to reject it. Name, name, name. <laughs> oh, no. what's, what's happening? <laughs> what's going on? He got the guzz in his throat. <laughs> I got too much guzz. Nathan, uh, this is cool. And not yeah. enough riz. <laughs> My mouth is so dry. <laughs> Zoomers, are we sucking right now? Are we blowing it? Do we sound awful <laughs> are we suzzing or blowzing <laughs> remember to dislike the video yeah. unsubscribe and then resubscribe <laughs> and, then, and then click like yeah and well, then do, support us on patreon yeah please do support us we need we yeah. need it what you don't know about liking and disliking on our videos is that if you like it we take that as meaning, you know, keep doing good. Yeah. But if you dislike it, we take it as meaning do worse and worse and worse. Yeah. 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 Because the enga- <laughs> we're just looking for that engagement. I yeah. don't know if you could tell by the past ten minutes, but we love misinterpreting things <laughs> to our benefit. Yeah. <laughs> you can misinterpret things until you win every thing. You can never lose if you misinterpret everything. Are you debating what kind of hand he should yeah, have? Yeah, I think. Oh! It's- I, I think, like that. I think the little, like these, he's just sort of going like, mm. I like that. These hands mm. were not meant for manual labor. They were funny hands. Yeah. They were meant for guzzing. This mouth was made for guzzing, and that's just what it'll do. <laughs> One of these days, this mouth is gonna guzz all over you. A ding, 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 ding. <laughs> We still never establish what guzz means. It's it's all it's it's, it's all the, of it. It's all of it. I Everything tried, is guzz. I tried to get you think about all it. of the guzz I could into this drawing. It's your scuzzy gutsy gay cousin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's also a frog who does bunny hands. I love this. Yeah, you this did a, such a good job, Nathan. This is a good guy. Yeah, this yeah. is nice. I think if you saw this and found out his name was Guzz Lord, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's the Lord of the Guzz. <laughs> Weird name, but okay. <laughs> this dude guzzes. He goes. <laughs> I can see it. Great um, work, Nathan. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I wish I could say the us. same <laughs> <laughs> to us. Don't. You don't have to do that. Please, haha. Is Karina? It's me. Is oh, we're all we're all doing. <laughs> it's me. Don't skip me just because of the things I said and did. <laughs> I was ready to give you a pass. I'm going to do one now. Okay. <laughs> oh, and before we switch, here's what Guzzlord looks like. Yeah, there it is. The real one, in case it's you didn't know. Yeah. Ultra Beast? Yeah, yeah. it looks yep. like a crab. 
with a big mouth. It looks like a trash crab. Trash crab. Okay, my turn. And for this one, Nathan, you're gonna you're gonna give me. Okay. Give me. This is a classic Pokemon name that I think we could really inject some new life into. Inject. I'm ready. And this was, in fact, a Pokemon that we drew on the very first Pokemon for Memory episode. What? It is Fero. 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 And in the original, Fero is just like a scary bird. It's just a big it's scary a bird. It's a fierce sparrow. A fierce yeah, a sparrow. sparrow. But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. And, it, and sure enough, it won't be. It won't be anymore. What are you thinking? Straight off the dome, I was- Cereal. Cereal? What? Continue. No. Cereal? Cereal? Julia? <laughs> <laughs> Do you just want to clarify real quick? Oh, because it ends with O, like a, yeah. like a, oh, like, like oh. Oh. there's yeah. a Cheerio, you can it's have a, a Furio. It's, it's the Cheerio that makes you scared when you eat it. Yeah. It takes away your guzz. <laughs> 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 is your child too full of guzz? <laughs> Give him Firos. He'll think twice before crossing the street. <laughs> He'll think more than twice. <laughs> Here's what I was thinking. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. I was thinking about a fearsome scarecrow. Oh. Fero. Yeah. Oh. And he's doing like a, a cool like dance. Well, it's gonna be sort of like a like a scary. Oh, he's going like whoa, like whoa! Don't don't come over here. <laughs> that That's would cool. be terrifying of you to do. Ooh. Ooh. I was thinking of a fearsome pharaoh. Oh, but that's see, just because I'm Yu-Gi-Oh brain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pharaoh is in the food. No, as in the Yu-Gi-Oh character. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Like sort of like a, a pharaoh, like, Julia. Like a, like a god king of like Egypt. An Egyptian oh, pharaoh. No. <laughs> or a large cat. Oh. That's a sphinx. No, that's pharaoh from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. You sound so stupid right now. You sound right so now. stupid right now. <laughs> I'm right. You're, You're stupid. wrong. <laughs> I'm not stupid. You're stupid. I don't sound stupid. Yeah, Julia sounds normal. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of the food. I mean, I was trying to make that connection when you said cereal, but I was like, I think pharaoh's just like, what, a grain? It's a grain. Yeah. Is that a cereal? <laughs> Is it one of those ancient grains? I think it's an ancient grain. Wow. What's a do we have like modern grains? What are like the hot modern grains? All right, hold Wheat? on. Whatever they use on the blockchain. The block <laughs> grain. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, that shut Nathan up. Am I Put right? him in his Grainers? place. <laughs> Pharaoh is an ancient grain. Wow. Hey, yo. Now look up Pharaoh Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Okay. Oh, he's a cute cat. I told you. Jacob, you look so dumb right now. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cat, and he ate the ghost of Judai's teacher who died after being revealed to be a humunculus. What's not clicking? No, he didn't. It's he all fake. Wait. <laughs> None of that really so, happened. He was a humunculus first, and then he died. Well, he was a scientist, and then he made a humunculus body for himself once he got like terminally ill with something. As you do. And then he transferred his soul into the humunculus and then became a bad guy, but then also became a teacher to pretend to be a good guy. Oh. And then he like taught Judai how to, uh, I don't know. And then he died, and then his soul got eaten by his pet cat because his pet cat is food motivated. And then he just is around as a ghost. Oh, so he got eaten by the cat, but is d didn't Yeah, get... sometimes the cat like burps and he like comes out. Okay, so the cat can eat ghost, but it cannot digest ghost. Yes. Everyone knows that about cats, Everyone though. knows this. <laughs> <laughs> All cats can eat ghosts. Only certain breeds can digest ghosts, because they were, you know, bred to do that. Yeah. Like Garfield. <laughs> like Garfield. Garfield can digest ghosts. Yeah, it's all the lasagna. Yeah. So they are called modern grains, just to let you know. Okay. What are they? 
Well, basically, it seems like ancient grains is like a marketing term mm -hmm. to describe things that are largely largely unchanged. Oh, oh okay. Unchanged. <laughs> but examples of modern grains are wheat, corn, and rice. Corn. 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 Corn done been around forever. But we've changed. But it's it. changed. I never thought of corn as a grain, but I also grew up in a city. Hey, do y'all want to hear a good joke? No. Yeah. Corn. Corn has changed. Oh, it's like a metal gear, yeah. metal grain, modern grain. I've never seen that movie. I don't modern understand grain. the reference. <laughs> <laughs> he says war has changed. Oh. In Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. It has the same amount of syllables as corn. Yeah, and also <laughs> someone had said corn has changed, and so <laughs> sort of a similar... <laughs> I, that that made me think of a similar joke. Okay, yeah, I'd love, yeah. I'd love to. Okay, yeah. go. Yeah. If 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 we do, um, I believe the game is is Fallout. Okay. 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 Uh, I may have heard of this. It's a uh, corn. Corn never changes because war sometimes never. War has changed, but sometimes the <laughs> war never changes. Yeah, in a, in a world where corn has never changed, that would be mm -hmm. sort of a thing you could say. <laughs> People are always saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good scarecrow, by the He's way. Going, yeah, this pose is great. <laughs> I'm trying to think about the yeah, eyes. Yeah, that was my question. I was oh. gonna. Oh. I was gonna ask if like he was looking up. Like that's the nose. That's, that's the nose. That's yeah. the nose. Unless it's a horn. It's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. It could, Ooh, it could I be love a. It. it could be a corn horn. Corn horn. <laughs> corn horn. You say. I like that, Nathan. <laughs> You know, they call me uh, Corn Horn Leo. <laughs> corn Horn Leo. And you're a Leo? Yeah. <laughs> it's a really descriptive name. Yeah, that way you know that he has a horn that's made of corn and he was born in late July or the first half of August. It's important stuff to know. <laughs> yeah, it gives you everything you need to know about this guy in one in one fell swoop. It's important and incordant. Incordant. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself with that one. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> he did a little... <laughs> In, little Nathan just, chuckle. Hey, this one's for everyone watching. Just say incontent to yourself. Just in, try saying it. It's fun. Okay, everyone. Incontent. 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 We sound like one of those pronunciation YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are going over the pronunciation of this word. This word has roots from nowhere. <laughs> from from Graffi. <laughs> You can Incontent. use it in almost no sentences. Incontent. <laughs> Incontent. 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 You can use it in almost no sentences. <laughs> you can only use it as like an exclamation. Like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Incontent. Or when you go to like the county fair and they have like a corn maze. <laughs> if you go to a corn maze, you can see the corn it. is really important <laughs> to the structure of the maze. It's so true. <laughs> yeah. Important. And then people are stuck in the maze with you. They can't just walk away easily. Yeah. So yeah. They, they just have to keep hearing you say important. <laughs> All right. I'm really, done. Really motivates them. <laughs> I'm done. This is Firo, the Great. fearful, fearful. And fearsome scarecrow. Yeah. I love it. I think it. he's equal parts fearful and fearsome. He's scared of you and scaring you. The pose work, beautiful. Yeah. Very cute. Thank you. He has an ability that's like intimidate, but it only works on flying types. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's very clever, but also something that only you would say in this episode, Nathan. Only nerds. We get it. You play competitive wow. Pokemon. <laughs> I haven't played competitive Pokemon in years. Wow. Really wow. Fake <laughs> long nerd enough. over here. She keeps not playing it for even longer. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Karina's turn. Yeah. All right, Karina. What? I want you to have a Pokemon. <laughs> you do? It's yes. for me? <laughs> yes. And the Pokemon I want you to have is Rowlet. 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 
who is a little owl originally. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A I cute little owl. owl. Yeah. A round owl. I was just going to say, wow. The way that Karina said it sounds like Ocelot in Metal Gear. Go back oh, to Metal yeah. Gear. Does he wow. make? He does. Does he make that noise? He does, yeah, and then he, he summons all his little boys from the <laughs> That's woods. That's how he summons his soldiers. Everything I find out about. Yes. Oh my God! I was confusing him with Otakon. Correct. Otakon. Yeah. Otakon just pisses his pants. And yeah. Talks I was about like, he's I was like, I thought pisser. that guy just like says stupid shit and pees himself, like. Yeah, I didn't know he went rawr. No, different guy. Different That's guy a different Karina. guy. They both, a lot both wears own a names. Yeah, yeah. Row. What's a row? Row. You could also row. read it as like rowlet, maybe row. like it like it rows or it's in a row. <laughs> it's in a canoe. <laughs> like a little canoe Pokemon. The canoe what's Pokemon. One, what's that one pogey? That's the line of little guys. Phalanx. Phalanx. Yeah. I hate phalanx. Oh, I love that one. This is a water phalanx. A water phalanx. <laughs> yeah, roll it. <laughs> it's just little rowing fellas. Yeah. You could also look like little edamamis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was also thinking like a row, like... Ha- like the British say, you get into like a little, like a little fight and do yeah. with your friends. Oh, you're causing a row. Yeah. Like a ruckus. Like yeah. It's a British yeah. ruckus. A British <laughs> ruckus. Doesn't that mean fight? I couldn't remember. Yeah, though. it's like a fight, like a I ruckus fight. Row. 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 Like what the football hooligans get up to after the, <laughs> the football hooligans yeah. get yeah. up to. After They're always the big game. getting into a row. They, like they the look shit. at each other and they, they all look at their watches. Well, I'm sorry. They all look up at Big Ben because it's the only clock <laughs> yeah. in England. And they go, oh, it's, it's row time. It's row time, and then it's they not, time to time to have a row. They have they have a, a rollicking row, a bit of a row, <laughs> and then um, they all have to break for tea time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they say row row, fight the power. Wow, <laughs> like Kamina, like Kamina. Like Kamina. Oh my god, it and all I... everything's connected. Yeah, yeah, to Gurren Lagann <laughs> for me at least. When I was in high school, we had to like write a paper. For one of my classes, Same. like <laughs> <laughs> you have to no. write papers for classes. Were we in the same class? <laughs> we must have been. In high uh, but it was like Anna, like it was take the lyrics of a song and like something something related to like history because it was like a world history class, and I totally did the. Uh, Libera me from hell from Gurren Lagann where half the lyrics are just row row fight the power <laughs> <laughs> and I was like like in history <laughs> am I right they also fought the power yeah, in history they do be fighting the power most of the time <laughs> okay I just for example take Bastille Day <laughs> <laughs> this was a time when they fought the power and won there was, <laughs> there was also a row <laughs> Independence Day could be described as a really yeah. rowdy row. If you really think about it. <laughs> so what Pokemon are you referencing? What is it called? Phalanx. Fa- phalanx? Fa- F- like, like phalanx, but it links. F-A lynx. So not like phalanx. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't hate phalanx. I just find them to be a really weird out there design for Pokemon, but not in a way that I like. Mm. It definitely is weird, but I... Unfortunately, anytime it's a collection of of little friends, yeah. I have to like it. It's in my contract. Yeah, fa- Phalanx walked so that Mousehold could run. Yeah, Mousehold is clearly like the final form. Yeah, of that design. Like philosophy. they were still figuring it out. Um, but I feel like with a collection of friends, it's it's very hit and miss for me. It's like a fifty fifty opportunity. I'm obsessed with Mousehold, but only because it's so mysterious that it like becomes funny to me. Yeah. Mousehold, they got the big mouths. Yeah. And that's what I love about them. They're the most. like strange. They look like fucking blank room soup. Like they that's have... that's perfection to me. And it's I like a design that you notice stuff about it the more you stare at it. Like I did not clock that they were wearing clothing yeah, the first they got time. Clothes. But it's just like the the clothing fades in. Yeah. They have children. They skip. I think I think phalanx is just too regimented for me. They walk in a line. Yeah. They're weird. They're little military guys. They, they confused me at first. And <laughs> I thought that it was a centipede 
and I, I thought it was a bug type and then none of my fire attacks were doing super effective and I was confused. No, they're more like a human centipede. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that they're sort of just like right up on each other in a line. Yeah. Oh my God. I feel like for me, the the better or maybe even the peak version of this is not a Pokemon. It's from Monster Rancher since I've been like playing that sometimes with Jonah. And there's one in there. Oh God, I don't remember the name of it because they all have like weird ass names. It's like a color peed or something. It's like the three little bricks. The three little bricks. And they are human centipeding. Yes. And they are so fucking funny. We got one on our team. We summoned him from the Hades soundtrack. <laughs> so his name is Zigzagrius. And nice. he is such a little guy. I'm obsessed with him. That's the ideal, like, weird ass human centipede monster for me. Is it Color Pandoras? Yeah, Color Pandoras. Do you, are you playing a game where you have the cute ones or the horrific ones? I thought it was cute. It's the one where in his headshot, it's like, <laughs> it's not these. Uh, that, no, not quite. Not these ones with like the Thomas the Tank Engine faces. <laughs> they all kind of look weird. I'll, I'll give you that, but I think it's cute. You know, sometimes they're dogs. Yeah, there's different kinds. That should be hey, a thing in Pokemon. This is hard. Sometimes they're... Remember, remember to have one of them be the coxswain. Yeah, he's got to be looking at the rest of them. He's got to be facing backwards and looking at the rest of the team. What? My brother did crew for four years. Oh, I, I don't attended know anything. so many stupid meets. There's one little guy. Everybody's <laughs> facing backwards and rowing, and then there's one guy who's facing forwards. Where does the one who's facing forward go? Sort of at the at back. the back of the boat. At the back of the boat, looking forward, shouting instructions. Yes. And then all the others are facing that one and rowing. Okay. Yeah, like this. Okay. I've only ever done any sort of boat rowing once in high school. Do you know, Karina? What? About the um the special monster rancher Billy Joel monster? <laughs> <laughs> Not me? off the top of my head. Tell me about it, please. If you put in the in Monster Rancher one. So <laughs> for those who don't know, in the Monster Rancher games, you can put in real music CDs into your console to like summon the monsters and it like reads the disc and summons it based on some data on the disc but if you put in billy joel greatest hits volume three you get this monkey named shades who is literally just like a normal monkey wearing sunglasses monkey Damn, I should have drawn that for Guzzlord. Also, that's literally Wild. so funny. I own that CD. It's in my apartment for some reason. Really? Yes. <laughs> you could summon shades. I just need what? Like a what is it on? PlayStation? Yeah, PlayStation I, 1. I need an original PlayStation, a copy of Monster Rancher. <laughs> Monster Rancher 1. Yeah. And I can get shades. His description is he's thought to be born of human ancestry. <laughs> <laughs> Billy? <laughs> Billy, what did you do? <laughs> Billy, did you fuck an ape? <laughs> Mr. Joel? <laughs> well, I think it's a, a homunculus ghost situation. Oh. Right. So Billy Joel made a homunculus and then the the monkey ate the ghost of Billy Joel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I okay, that's much less but, disconcerting. But couldn't digest it. Because, yeah, only certain breeds of cats can do that. And thus, Shades was born. Yeah. Again. So this is the pissed off one. Yeah. This who's is the one commanding. That commands. The coxswain. Mm-hmm. Because that's the one that's pronounced like coxswain. No, it's read like coxswain. It's yeah. spelled like coxswain. It's spelled like coxswain. But Cox it's pronounced coxswain. And I know this because my brother was a coxswain in Ooh, high school. Oh, no. Typically, it's a, a job reserved for someone uh, little, so little? that, so that they, they don't weigh the boat down too much. That so, makes a lot of sense. Someone little, but with a big voice. Yep. But if you had someone really big be the coxswain, that would make all the rowers even stronger. Oh, that's true. That's the practice coxswain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the training weight coxswain. Yeah. You replace him with a little, a tiny little one. <laughs> They need to have the same voice, though, so as not to confuse, confuse. the yeah. rowers. Yeah. The rowers will get scared if they hear a different voice. 
I've been to uh, many a crew meet for my brother. You did crew for a while uh, in high school. And um, man, you spend like eight hours waiting for one race. And then that race is like, oh, they made good time. It was one minute and 12 seconds. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I waited so long for this. All right. But you I'm get to, so glad. <laughs> you get to hang out by a, a, a body of water. That's a, true. A, a river usually. Do they, yeah. do, do they do lakes or is it usually a river? Everyone that I've been to has been at a river. A river. You want you want that length. Yeah. Well, I know you like don't want to chase waterfalls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so they yeah. do want to keep you at sort of the rivers and the lakes yeah. that, that you're yeah. used to. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Chasing waterfalls is like an instant disqualification. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because it's a safety concern. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are they like flintstoning it? <laughs> <laughs> they just got their feet out and they're walking. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great design. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to different out. shaped noses. Okay, <laughs> I, I mean, love that. Even if they're individuals, even if this isn't the final design, uh, I'm glad you drew this. Yeah, I love it because I'm imagining <laughs> them like in the game, and like every time they do a move, the coxswain guy is like going like, rah, 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 rah. yeah, and then the other ones are like scrambling yeah. to like move the boat, and then it like yeah. shoots a you know, a water hydro pump or whatever. Yeah. What was what was the name of this Pokemon? Rowlet. Rowlet. Yeah, it was Rowlet now. Yeah. Oh, what if what if the 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 coxswain says row and the rest of them say lit? Lit. Yeah. Row. Lit. Row. Lit. Row. lit. <laughs> yeah, That's this is cute. good. This is good. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You you sold me. You sold me <laughs> on the thing I drew. Yeah. I wasn't feeling it, but now I'm I'm kind of getting it. I just I have no. I, I I've canoed once, and it was in high school because I went to an arts high school with no fucking sports. And the, uh, every year the art department would go on a field trip. So uh, one year they just like took us to camp because usually it was an art related thing. But one year they just took us to like forest camp and that was my first time ever going and i was so excited and it was a very mixed bag because some people didn't want to be like at forest camp but i was like no i never got to do this in school because i they didn't have money in our school district for me to ever do it what the hell is forest camp it's just camp in the forest what the hell we were <laughs> canoeing <laughs> and archery and what cup stacking and we did it for one day and I got to canoe and my canoe partner, bless her heart, she didn't really know what she was doing, but neither did I, but I was doing all the canoeing, like I was doing all the rowing. So and what did what did she do? She was the coxswain. Essentially. <laughs> the she was the dead weight. <laughs> and I didn't know how to row a canoe because I'd never done it before. So when I got back to land, my teacher was like, you looked so angry out there. And I was like, I wasn't though. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the face I make when I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then the fresh, the poor freshmen who were on my like team, they were like peak art school freshmen like you know they wore hoodies to forest camp they flipped their canoe when Ooh. they when they docked it and it was really funny but you got to feel a little bad for them <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when roll it faints the canoe flips and they all fall out yeah, yeah. They, they capsize <laughs> this is really this is like a design for the newer games because they can really get in there with like all the cute little yeah. animations that each of them do i'm imagining all the heads bopping around yeah yeah i'm here for it yeah i'm, yeah, I'm like charmed it. Yay! Cute. I wasn't sure what I was where I was going with this, but now now I kind of like it better. They all kind of look like a little duck, like a yeah. little baby duck, and that's yeah. very cute. I I realize we haven't been saying typings for the uh, for the oh. ones we've been drawing, but yeah. uh, I I feel like this is a water normal type. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. It's like, got that whimsiness that normal types sometimes have. Yeah. Mine is for sure a. A dark ghost, I would think. Yeah. Or a, a ghost grass. Ghost grass. That would make sense. Yeah. There's some there's some plant like elements in there. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Ghost grass. And mine is, is a frog. Is a frog. So definitely water. Water grass. Fairy. Poison. Fairy. Fairy. Water, water fairy. fairy. Like a zoomer ill. A zoomer ill. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was the... our audience at the start of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Zoomers got ill. A zoomer comma ill. <laughs> Us pointing to you. <laughs> all right, here you go. And this is one of those ones where, like, like they all have slightly different patterns or something. Yeah. Or they come in different colors. I love that. If you give it different eyes, I don't fucking care. Here he is. Ro- roll it. Roll it. Adorable. <laughs> this is so cute. Amazing. <laughs> this one yells. <laughs> yeah, I know he does. Yeah, and the original is just a round owl. Which I love. I yeah, do. Yeah, he's really cute. But look at this. Look I at this. 1,200 eggs to get a shiny rowlet. And look at you now. And then they made it super easy to do an Arceus. Yay. 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 Julia time. Me. Julia, are you ready for your Pogus? Yes. I would like to see you interpret Sneasler. <laughs> now, if you if you recall, Sneasler was one of the ones we drew in uh, uh, Pokemon Vibes. Yes. That you said was nasty. Nasty. Mm. I don't recall. But I but I mean, we haven't seen Julia interpret yeah. a Sneasler. Yeah. Please, I would love. please redraw, reimagine Sneasler. Okay. And we can say, because this isn't going to mean anything to Julia, but this, here's what Sneasler looks like for real. Yeah. Sort of like a like a cat. Sort of like a nasty teenage cat. Yeah. Oh, that cat. Yeah. All right. Julia's drawing a ring. A hole. A hole. A hole. <laughs> this is a hole. Mm, but why? <laughs> a lot of questions. It's a. <laughs> it's a button. Sometimes, and I don't want to cause any conspiracy theories here, mm-hmm. but sometimes Julia starts drawing so fast that I get the impression that she knew what she was going to draw, regardless of what I said. Like she had something in her mind and she was like, whatever he says, I'm going to draw a hole. (laughs) I feel like drawing a hole today. Fellas. We'll we'll just go from there. That's that's a true artist. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out sneeze lure. Sneeze lure. Mm Mm-hmm. Sneeze nuts. Oh! Oh! This, this is, is a magnifying glass. This is a frying pan with two sunny side eggs. Mm-hmm. Wait. Wait. Sneeze. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? She She's thinking of Sizzler. Yeah. Sizzler? <laughs> Sneezler? <laughs> she, she <just> <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've ignored sneeze. <laughs> I want to see the sneeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you made two. You made, you eggs made an egg in a frying pan. Egg. Yeah. It's really cute. Yeah. yeah. It looks like really. And there's the hole. Unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw this Pokemon. Just like in the wild, like it emerged from the the grass and like toddled towards me, making that face. I would literally just shoot it. And it would go just bing because it's a freaking cast iron skillet. <laughs> I'd be like, I need to put it down. I need to take it behind the barn. It's, it clearly is unhappy. <laughs> the boy ain't right. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't season their sneeze lure well enough, and that's why the eggs are stuck. Yeah, that's why it's so sad. The eggs are stuck yeah. to the pan. <laughs> just, Where's you the sneeze? You shouldn't be able to Ew. turn your skillet like this and have the eggs <laughs> just why stick. Why did you forsake me? <laughs> it can talk. You didn't read up on proper cast iron maintenance, did you? <laughs> I'm so dirty. If only someone would wash me. <laughs> but not with soap. Po- I'm cast iron, for Please. Christ's sake. Please, no soap. Who told you you could do that? <laughs> uh, I think you'll find they recently debunked the soap on cast iron myths that were going around. Why and are in you fact- explaining it to me? I'm literally a cast. <laughs> Fire. It's Guzzlord talking. <laughs> um, actually, uh, you can use soap on cast iron as long as you make sure to dry it thoroughly. I have 
blueberries in their skin. <laughs> Do you see these eggs? <laughs> these aren't my eyes. They're on my eyes. <laughs> everything I everything I see is seen through a, a thin veneer of egg. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a skin condition because someone washed me with soap and I came to life out of vengeance. <laughs> That's what the Pokédex entry is. Yeah, a child a washed a cast iron spirit. A ca cast, cast iron, iron spirit. spirit. <laughs> is cast, cast iron, iron spirit lit <laughs> with soap so its spirit brought itself to to life <laughs> and kill the child <laughs> by throwing eggs at him. <laughs> they threw eggs at him, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> they threw eggs at him, Ash. <laughs> but it still seeks vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> Who's next? Try me. <laughs> I dare you. Who's misusing their kitchenware? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to have these things for life. So, where's the sneeze? Where's the sneeze, Julia? Okay, it floats. <laughs> I mean, it is a ghost type. We've established the spirit. The spirit. <laughs> yeah, the cast iron spirit. This is a yeah. This is a, a ghost steel type. What if he like like Aegis Slash? What if he like? What if he like? What if his mouth is also covered in egg? Is he about to sneeze? Yeah. Oh, because of the allergies Cause... from the soap. Oh, I was going to say he's allergic to eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to add pepper to him, but... Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah, put some pepper on the eggs. Pepper on the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Why has God forsaken <laughs> me? <laughs> <laughs> in a state of constantly about to sneeze where's that eye going what is happening so so his name is sneeze lore because he's about to sneeze and there's a lot of lore yeah he's got, yeah, it's he's he's got a sizzler. sneezing lore <laughs> and also he's a sizzler yeah <laughs> kill me I dare you I don't have a nose where am I gonna sneeze from <laughs> this is agony <laughs> you'll never guess where the sneeze comes out of oh the pepper's like cute little freckles yeah that's really cute this is a cute <laughs> design that's that's horrifying <laughs> that's with the based lore. Off of Sizzler. That's I mean, Julia, that's Pokemon. You you designed a Pokemon. Yay! Wow. wow. We've done it. We got one. Can I have like some celebratory trumpets no. here? Oh. You can have a celebratory. Ah! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the eggs are not part of it it's just it just has eggs on it yeah if you're really lucky you, the shiny doesn't have an egg on it yeah. oh the shiny is just a shiny it doesn't it's just a vertical yeah. skillet still no nose though yeah no all right here he is here he is i love him Julia. <laughs> this was an adventure yeah yeah a you real... truly did it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Well, that's well. That's for Pokemon designs. Yeah. yeah. For free. For free. Those are just for you to have and to hold and to cherish. Put them in your ROM hack. Yeah. 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 If you're making a ROM hack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> You, you making the you ROM making hack. You making the ROM hack. Put them in. Go on. Make sure this one is fully voiced. Yeah. Yeah. The only one. Yeah. The rest just go. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're at it, why don't you hit like and subscribe as a special thank you to us for all we've done for you. Yeah. And you could even leave a comment. 
saying thank you for all you've done for me. Thank yeah. you for having the guzz. Thank you for having the guzz. <laughs> to do what no one else has done yeah. for me. Yeah. This video, if this video really rizzed you up, <laughs> subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah, suzz to our puzz. Suzz to our puzz. <laughs> Don't suzz to our puzz. <laughs> have, have the guzz. Yeah. To suzz to our puzz. <laughs> it's not and- even... And pick up some muzz. Pick up some muzz for our muzz store. <laughs> our muzz does. Because <laughs> riz is a sound that happens when you say charisma. We're just, we're just changing every word. <laughs> and check out our twiz. Check out our twiz. We, we twiz striz every Monday night at 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> We're sis. We're sis. Sis. <laughs> <laughs>